Story time with Fergie and friends. Hey, mums and dads, girls and boys. Hey, mums and dads, girls and boys, aunts and uncles, granny and grandpa. Beard coming down. Paul the Penguin's Polar Plunge by Essie Bell and illustrated by Sidra Aftab by Lilydale Press. Thank you guys very much. In southernmost Antarctica, an egg began to hatch. A little penguin stumbled out onto the icy patch. <gasps> he looked about and there he saw a penguin standing close. My name, you, I'll name you Paul, my little son, as always love you most. With each day, Paul grew and grew and played up on the ice. He loved his life, always thought it was just a paradise. Paul learned to waddle penguin style while sliding all around. He loved his days spent on the ice for, for it was his playground. <sighs> but then one day he saw his friends who talked out near the ocean. He waddled over, asked what's up and felt a little bit of an emotion. It was a new emotion. They asked if Paul had heard the news. We're just a few more days. We're almost big enough to swim in the water to play. He slowed he slowly turned away from them and walked off on his own. It was the first time in Paul's life that he felt all alone. Not only did he feel alone, but he also felt so scared. Paul never thought he'd have to swim and he felt so unprepared. He knew his life upon the ice and felt safe in the sun. Paul didn't seem to understand how swimming could be fun. The water seemed so dark and grey. It wasn't what Paul knew. He didn't want to learn to swim. The thought made him feel blue. Oh, Paul. As days crept on and Paul watched the others from the side, that day was coming soon that Paul and friends would have to try. At last, the scary day arrived for them to take the dive. Paul slowly walked towards the edge and hoped that he'd survive. <gasps> but then he heard his dad's deep voice. Oh, Paul, you seem so nervous. Son, you should know we've made, we're made to swim. You'll always find the surface. And I'll be there to help you learn and st I'll stay close to by, by to guide you. So close your eyes and jump on in, my boy, I'm here beside you. Paul's dad helped him to feel so brave. He leapt up in the air. Paul dove into the water's chill and a new world hmm, was down there. Paul loved the feeling of the sea. As it went, he moved and swam around with ease. Paul felt like he could fly. He looked below and saw his dad and friends were swimming near in shock. He saw how blue it seemed, the water was so clear. This is amazing, Paul exclaimed. There's so much more to explore. I've never thought I'd feel this free next to the ocean floor. The water isn't scary. Dad's and swimming's not that hard. I don't know that I'd be I didn't know that I'd be safe when I let down my guard. Paul learned that he could do hard things if he could only try. He didn't need to stay afraid and let his life pass by. Well, I love the fact that Paul the Penguin, Polar Plunge, great book. Well done indeed. I love that. Essie Bell and Sidra Aftab. Thank you very much. It's a great book. Fergie and Friends with Fergie and Friends.